we're at the 96 uh, National Historic Site and the little town outside of here is also kind of 96. And they say they got it got its name because it's 96 miles from the Cherokee village of Kiwa back in the trading days. So it's really it's a lot of history with the Native Americans and the Revolutionary War. So, all right, we're fixing to go see what we can find in here. Little cannon says it was used in the Battle of Star Fort in 1781. It was erected by the Daughters of the American Revolution back in 54. Cool. We're gonna go in the visitor's center now. Traces of history to a frontier settlement with a curious name. 96. <laughs> We're headed out to the Star Fort, the what remains of it, the earthen works. It's a pretty walk, ain't it, Didi? It is. <laughs> but it said beware of ticks, so copperheads. Copperhead, so I guess we'll be tick checking later. All right. I think it's asphalt here, no, I don't think the asphalt's part of the original trail. But let's see what we can find. This is uh the old Island Ford Road. Said it is sunk like this from heavy use erosion and the really heavy loads that they would be carrying. And I guess we're coming up to the Star Fort Earthen Remains. The Patriot Force arrives to put the siege on Fort Star. And give away the ending, but they weren't successful. <laughs> There's the rifle tower we learned about in the film they showed in the visitor center. They got a replica, but it's definitely not 30 feet tall. But it's amazing those wood logs would stop the musket balls. This is a marker about a mine where they were digging tunnels to try to go under the fort and then blow it up, but they didn't get time to finish it before reinforcements were coming for the uh, British. There's the mine entry site. What it looked like inside, but they say you can't get to it now. All right, let's continue on. Going into the Star Fort, These little hills left. It was a formidable fort at the time. Looking over toward where the uh, rifle uh, fort was built to fire into here where the Patriots were. This is looking out from where the wolves were defending. Head back out and head over to what was the settlement of 96. And there was a trench that ran between the fort and the town. The town was blockaded in. Catch up with Debbie. 96 in 1775. So this was a really little busy settlement in the south, South Carolina. There's the outlines of it you just barely make out. Uh, the British burned the fort before they left. They knew, they, even though they won this battle, they knew they weren't gonna keep winning the battles with the, all the other forts in the area had fallen. So they burned it to the ground, sadly. All right, we are about in the center of the village of 96. Each one of those yellow poles you can see out there in the distance marks one of the corners. And there's one over there. One over there with the star fort in the background. And one over there on the other side of that road that came in here. And then the British burned it. Yeah, and then the British burned it. But when you see the saw the picture back there, there were quite a lot of houses and businesses within these four walls. Alright, 
We'll continue on down the trail. There's the Gaudi Trail, I don't know how you say his name. And then the historic Charleston Road. Do you how long you think it'd get to take to walk Charleston? <laughs> this was the uh, side of the old jail. And it's out there in the distance. It's the Cherokee Path Trail to the uh, town of Kiowa. But they say that's actual modern day Clemson, which we've been there before. It's pretty cool. What's that say? Now, yeah, Cherokee's probably didn't have the bridge, but you can't go down the trail because the bridge is out. So it doesn't look like anybody's been down it in a while. Yeah, this was uh, what we learned in the movie in there. And office, there was actually two battles here. The first one was absolutely actually no British involved. It was just those loyal to the crown and those wanting independence from it, but they were all Americans. Basically, brothers fighting brothers. Uh, that was cool. It's called Fort Williamson's Fort. JJ, are you loyal to the crown or not? No, not, not now. Well, you better shoot that gun. <laughs> this was the stockade fort. I took a little video of Mendigo. I wasn't sure if it was that other fort, Harrison, or whatever they were talking about. But this is stockade fort. It was Light Horse Harry Lee. I think he was actually an ancestor of Robert E. Lee, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty cool. Imagine trying to run into those and through them while you're being fired on. It's a monument. Uh, dedicated to James Birmingham. He was the volunteer and the first patriot killed in the Revolutionary War. American Legion put this here. Pretty cool. Right. Headed back out to the front of the park. This is a cool little trip, not too long of a walk. Right. Yeah, nice breeze. I think it's like 75 degrees, so it's nice here in South Carolina. This is the Logan Log House. Built by Andrew Logan in the 1700s. Pretty cool. It was in bad shape at one time, they restored it. And there's the stockade, earthen oven. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, 96 National Historic Site was really cool. I highly recommend if you're in the area of Southern South Carolina, near the Georgia border, not too far. Really pretty lakes nearby and nice campgrounds. So get a chance, check it out. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe.